Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Invest for More, and we're outside the new laundromat, and today is Friday. So it's Fun Car Friday, so we've got the Countach out today, even though it's middle of December in Colorado. Yes, we do have some amazing winters here in Colorado sometimes. It's not all snow. And we're counting quarters today to see if the second week the laundromat has been open did better than the first week. Now, we needed to do a lot, lot better to make money, but I'm not expecting to make money yet, but hopefully eventually we'll get to a point where we will. Um, I also have made my first sales chart for this one. I've got another laundromat too where I've got lots of sales charts for it, but I know there's people using it. I know there's people here. I can see on the cameras, but it's not quite as many as I'd like to see. So hopefully that will pick up as time goes on, but we'll see how much money's in the machines, how much money's in the coin machine, the quarter machine. And as you can see, most of the machines are still working, which is fantastic. <laughs> We've had lots of drama with the machines and different laundromat repair people as many of you know who have followed me you can see we still have one washer not working that's a long story and um yeah let's get to it let's see what's in the machines and hopefully it's a good day i'm going to start off with our quarter changer now this is not profit i say this a lot people are just exchanging dollars for quarters so this gives us an indication of how good things are because the more money in here usually the more money is in the machines but it's not all, all profit. So I can see some quarters have been used, but not a ton. I do come by here a couple times a week with it just starting up, and it's really close to my office, which is nice. So there is some money in here that is, there we go. Um, we'll count that at the end. So could be more, could be less. We had quite a bit over the weekend, so we'll count all that up later. But it's better than having no money in there, that's for sure. All right, we'll see how much soap is in here. Let's see if we need to refill it or not. Nope, stuff is definitely selling, but we won't need to refill it yet. All right, so there is nobody in the laundromat right now. That means we're gonna go collect quarters with my fancy camera I've got strapped to my chest. <laughs> and we'll see what is in the machines. This is our second time collecting money. I've got a bucket now, as you can see. And the first week was okay for the first week. Not the best. Hopefully this week is better, we'll see. I know we had a pretty decent weekend, because so I cheat. Well, this is off to a good start. There we go. Oh, there's an amazing start. Oh, I think, I, I think people use the front dryers more than these back ones. That's what we're going with. Oh, that's better. Or somebody's breaking into our coin boxes. All right. Hopefully the front ones have way, way, way more. That's getting better. Getting better and better and better. That's a huge one. And a lot of these machines were not working. I took over this laundromat, as many of you know. Oof. Um, and, uh... We fixed a lot of them, at least I had some old laundromat guys fixing them, repair guys. They didn't really fix any of them. They mostly did nothing. I wonder what's going on here. Like, are these, and they're locked. But I feel like there should be more money. Maybe there'll be way more in the front ones, that's better. But I know there's been people here using these, in fact, but a few times we've seen almost all of them in use. So I feel like, whoops, we should have more quarters than that coming out of these machines. We do have cameras. Oh, well, that one's better. But still, for a week, I would think there'd be a lot better. Hmm. There we go, okay. Now we're getting to see more and more. But we had, uh, had to get some different laundromat repair guys to fix the dryers again, because the first guys were horrible and literally, hey, that's better, 10, 10 
of the 18 weren't working. So, this would be the first full week with most of them working. You can see we have one that's out of order. I don't think that was there before, was it? Maybe. Did I do this one yet? Yep. So, okay. I feel like there should be way more money in these from the people I've seen on the cameras and people I know have been here. That's slightly odd. But that's all we got. Because that's almost, feels like less than last week. We'll dump this into one of our bags and then check the washers. Sure, there's a slightly more efficient way to do that, but we got them all in there. Yeah, that doesn't feel like that much. Okay. Well, there definitely should be way more in the washers. We'll start from the back first. We did the front first last time, and there was definitely more money in the front. That machine is used once. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to lose that extra quarter. Like I said, these had a these in the back don't get used as much, but they still do get used. All these are new key boxes, so nobody should have these keys. Only two keys, and I still. Hey, that's a little more, a little more encouraging. Okay. Oh, a dime. I'll put that in my pocket because we just want my quarter machine to use to get quarters. Okay, okay, that's better. The good news is there's definitely, there's a nickel, a lot of room for improvement still. So. And we're still trying to get word out and a few regulars have already come back and said, hey, we're really glad you're open again. And everyone's been super nice, like really, really nice. Hey, slightly better. Okay. That might be as much as we had in the dryers already. And these have different keys. Because they're the bigger coin box. Oh. Not horrible. I'm hoping my big ones up front have a ton of money in them. Because that will make me... Whew feel happier. I did mention on the Facebook group, there's a Facebook community group for our area that were open. And I said, hey, whoops. If you like laundromats that aren't busy, this is the place for you. 
that's for sure. Oh, hey, some people are coming. That might be slightly awkward with me cleaning up machines. And a weird camera strapped to my chest, that's okay. Oh, hello. Good, how are you doing? So I stopped talking at this point because it might be weird for people coming in the laundromat to see me clicking away and talking to myself. So, <laughs> I did keep filming, and you can see the money kept coming, but now I'm doing it with a voiceover. Um, definitely not as much money in there as I was hoping. It could have been worse, could have been worse, but I was hoping to see much more in there. And of course, the big ones up front here are usually the ones with the most money, so hopefully these will make this look a little better. We'll see. Well, oh, there you that's go. the best one so far. So that that was nice to see there. That's our 50 pounder. The big machines definitely almost always bring in the most. We've got two more 50 pounders in the back, but the ones in front definitely do the best. The people who walked in here went straight to the back to those big machines, but usually most people go to the front ones for the big machines. And this is our biggest machine, the 60 pounder. Decent, not bad. So that made me feel better when I saw these machines were pretty full of money. And of course, it's time to count the quarters, which usually come with me making big mistakes and getting the coin machine jammed and losing quarters and different stuff happening. I tried to make it so the glare wasn't so bad. The glare is a little bit bad right here. But this is the soap right here. I know it doesn't say anything on the thing, but that was the soap machine, and it was like 60 something you got i told you it got jammed already how did it get jammed with like that few quarters oh 61 i ain't get my head over the lights that makes it work the good news is just like i've learned to fix appliances that's a joke for most people i have learned to fix the coin machine so i don't know if those got counted or not but <clears throat> you know what that's okay <laughs> 65 quarters from the soap machine but definitely the most fun part is being able to count the uh, washer and dryer money. Now, this is a little more difficult with the bags and the envelopes. My other laundromat, I always have it in envelopes. I'm really not trying to flip everybody off when I'm hitting that button, and I apologize, it was the only finger I had available. I'm Maybe I'm flipping off the machine, that's what I'm trying to do. So 472. Now here's the washer money, which was a pretty big bag, but it didn't seem like a whole lot more than last week. That's like 250, 300. Sorry for flipping everybody off again. Me dumping way too many in there, so of course that's going to jam it. I need to get a better machine. This thing is supposed to have been completely rebuilt in a good one, but it is not. And that was me dropping a quarter. Luckily I saw it. There's me throwing some quarters over there. Luckily I saw that. There's me dropping more quarters. <laughs> Don't worry, it gets worse. There's me getting the bag stuck in the fan that you can't see on camera. And I had to unwind it. There we go. I think it's unwound now. Nope, nope. There we go. Now I'm ready to go. This is me dumping the quarters back in. 
and almost immediately getting the bag stuck in the fan once again. But I just kept going. I decided, hey, what's more important, getting these quarters counted or unwinding my bag rope thing? There we go. All right, now we're like 800 and some. If it gets jammed, you just dump more in. That's how you fix it. 900. The slowest quarter count ever. Come on. There we go. There we go. Yep, yep. Got it jammed again. You can see that quarter is spit on the, out on the right on the desk. It does that when it doesn't think it's a quarter, when it thinks it's some kind of other coin, or the quarter is really destroyed or mutilated or something. I would love it if it did that for, like, silver quarters, but I don't think it does. Once in a while, I'll spit out some really old ones, but none of them have been silver. I used to check for silver. I don't anymore. It's too time-consuming. I think some of the, there's another quarter I dropped, which I may or may not... Oh, yeah, I remember to get it. Um... Some people have said, yeah, if you search for a quarter, you're making probably, like, five bucks an hour. If you're searching for silver, sorry, through all these quarters. Sometimes you, they say you can hear the difference. I, I don't think I can, but maybe that's just because I've never even seen a quarter. There, I'm just making a giant mess again. This is not going well. But there, we finally got our count, kind of. With some quarters all over the plate. Oh, no, oh, let's throw that one in there. Those. Okay. Not. Pull that chair and pull the whole thing down. 480. 1487, I think. Yep. And here's our money counter. So this is all the money for the whole week. I collected money over the weekend, and I also collected money today. This is all of it combined. So we're going to see how much cash there was this whole week. So $47 in ones. I'm getting better at using this machine. We have to try and keep track. 47 plus 90, 137. See if we can do math. 137 plus 7207, right? 207 plus. Three twenty, five twenty-seven. Last week we had just below five hundred, so a little more money in there, but not a ton more money. So here's our fancy chart that I've made, and you can see it does not last very long, but this shows us our total money, and we're slightly above last week. We're over five hundred dollars. Yay! Um, we need that to double to really to break even. So hopefully that will happen soon, but we'll see. Um, I think it's promising. It just opened. We haven't done a lot of marketing yet. I think we've got our machine squared away finally. I think a lot of this will be word of mouth and people figuring out it's open and then coming back and over and over and over again. Hopefully, hopefully they don't go once and then decide they don't like it. And um, we'll keep working. So there's still improvements we can make here, but at least this one's open. I also want to focus on making my Kersey laundromat, which is much smaller and tinier, better as well. We'll have another video of that here coming soon and see how it did. Um, so overall, we're improving. Hopefully things keep improving, um, but definitely need to make more money than this for it to be a good business. Now, I do make some money from social media and YouTube and stuff on these videos, so that helps too, but definitely not worth it to keep a losing business going. So we'll see how it goes. Love to hear what you think. We'll have more updates on this and the other laundromat soon, as well as our flips, rentals, all the other stuff too. Thanks for watching. Take care.